today's video, I am talking about easy, cheap ways to make your room feel more coquette. So if you don't know what the coquette aesthetic is, it's really an aesthetic about embracing hyper-femininity and anything that is feminine, anything that makes you feel girly, that is coquette. So I previously made a video of 50 different coquette decor ideas, but maybe you don't want to go out and get all of these things, or maybe you don't even know where to start when it comes to what exactly you should get to kind of transform your space. So this video is just going to be what I think are the easiest and cheapest ways to make your room feel more coquette without going out and purchasing all new furniture and doing a full makeover. So the first one, and this is definitely the easiest one, is to kiss your book pages with lipstick on and display them on your wall. So you can go and get a used book from a bookstore or from a thrift store for super cheap. Just rip out the book pages and kiss the book pages and put them up in like a little collage. It's super cute. It's so easy to do. And it looks really, really aesthetic. I love the way that this looks. Next thing to do is to get a canopy that hangs over your bed. This is like, uh, I love this idea so much because it's such an easy thing to do and it makes your room look so magical. And I had one growing up. Actually, I had one till I was probably about like 15. So you can find a canopy on Amazon from 18 to $50. But if you have white bed sheets, curtains, or fabric laying around that you aren't using, you can definitely DIY a wall canopy easily, which is what I did. I used four sheer curtains from Walmart that I purchased for $20. All I did was safety pin the tops of two of the curtains together so it looked like this. And then I screwed a cup hook that I purchased from the Dollar General into the highest part of my wall. And then I attached that safety pin that I just used to pin my two curtains together to the cup hook. I also backlit my curtains with LEDs I purchased from Amazon for $15. Of course, this is optional. All I did was attach my LEDs to the cup hook, layering them twice, and then I just placed them throughout the curtains evenly. Next, I draped the two curtains to the corners of my bed and I safety pinned that nice design in place so that way I could tape them on my wall using alien tape. This tape is great if you can't put holes in your walls and it holds up to 17.5 pounds, which is why you see me use it in almost every makeover. Then I repeat the process all over again using my second pair of curtains. But this time I wanted to add them underneath that first drape I created so that way they reached the floor. And to cover up the safety pins, I just added some ribbon on top of them that I had laying around, and this is how it turned out. I just absolutely love them. It's such a vibe, and they're relatively cheap, easy to install, great way to transform your space. Another super easy one is just by displaying your makeup, by displaying your jewelry, putting it out on your vanity, your dresser, bedside table, just display it. Just display it in a nice way, put it in a trinket dish, put it in a bowl, just something, you know, make it a little special, add your flair to it. I used this crystal bowl I thrifted for $3 to display my smaller makeup products. And then for my taller items, I displayed them in a mason jar I got from the Dollar General store for $1. I also spray painted some lids of my products gold and removed labels to make it look more cohesive. This is just an example of how you can display makeup in a creative way that adds something to your space. If it matches the color palette, that's also a huge plus. But displaying products like perfume, lipsticks, blush, your brushes, it looks very coquette. The best thing is you don't have to go out and buy anything for this because it's most likely items you already own. The 
Another super, super easy one is to get floral bed sheets. The great thing about this is that everyone uses bed sheets. Like you're not gonna not get good use out of these. It's something that you can alternate in between. So if you end up not liking them in the future, it's okay. You can just wash them, put them away, and then, you know, eventually reuse them again. And if you're wanting the exact sheets that you see in the Coquette images on Pinterest, then you will find those on Amazon for $21. If you didn't want to buy new, I know that floral bed sheets are actually extremely common at thrift stores. You can wash them. I mean, it's totally up to you. I'm just throwing it out there. That is an option if you want to go like towards that end, but you can buy them on Amazon as well. I will link everything below that I'm talking about in this video, but it goes so well with this aesthetic. Whenever you look it up, you always see these floral bed sheets and it's just a really easy way to transform your space. The next one is by getting real flowers or fake flowers. I have, you know, real behind me, and this is such a beautiful touch to any space. It smells good, it looks good, and I mean, I, I rarely get real flowers if I'm being totally honest, but when I do have them, I just feel so happy having this beautiful piece of nature in my home. And it's such a great way to make your room look more coquette. But even if you don't wanna go with real flowers, you can get fake flowers too. I got some really realistic light pink roses from the 99 cent store. From afar, it looks real. Even up close, they look real. So you can definitely go the fake route too and display them in a little vase. I don't know why so many people are against fake plants. The next one is by getting fairy lights and putting them anywhere you want in your room. You can backlight it over your headboard. If you don't have a headboard, you can put it over your window. You can, you know, really put it anywhere. If you have the book pages wall, you can kind of line it throughout the book pages to light that up as well. There are so many places you can put it and it just looks beautiful. It's a great way to light your space and it feels very coquette. <laughs> The next one is fake vines. And it's also really cheap for a pack of, I think, 12 strands. It runs around $14, I'm pretty sure. Again, I'll link everything below so you have exact prices. But these are really great because they're easy to store away and they are really easy to put up. You don't have to put them on your wall. You can put them over a window treatment, behind your bed. There's, there's so many different ways that you can display these and they look so cool. I know they're fake and some people are against fake plants, but I personally love them. It's an easy way to transform a room. Also, just to know, everyone always complains that spiders will get in your vines, but insects and arachnids are not attracted to plastic. This is why plastic plants are commonly used inside homes because they do not attract bugs. If it was real, it would, but if you're worried about putting up vines on your wall because you think spiders are going to make a home there, that's not going to happen. The next one is candles, but specifically pink candles. I found a 12 pack of pink candle tapers on Amazon for $20. But if you were looking for individuals, I also found them at Hobby Lobby ranging from $129 to $169. You can display them in a pretty candelabra like this. And I also found some pink candles at Target and Valentine's Day candles that ranged from $5 to $10. And if you don't like labels, don't worry. You can just turn them around like this and it matches perfectly. You can go with white candles too. You know, those are easier to find. The pink ones might be more pricey because it's more of like a specialty item. I'm not entirely sure on that. I'm gonna look it up after I film this, but Pink candles, again, go with this aesthetic really well. They look really pretty too. Candles in general just fit this overall theme. So I think having any type of candle displayed, the ambiance that it gives off, the lighting it gives off, it's just perfect. The next one is by displaying your books and romance novels. I mean, that goes with displaying books, but I wanted to specifically point out romance novels and to also make sure that you hide away those darker spines because you want to stick with a color palette when it comes to coquette. You want to stick with pinks and light colors and you know, beige, whites, tans, and keeping those dark colors hidden would be ideal. For instance, my books back here, I have gold and white, and I feel like that would fit the aesthetic 
perfectly, I wouldn't flip those, but if it was black, I would flip it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying go out and buy books just to display, especially if you don't read them. That would probably get pretty pricey, but if you already read books and own them, displaying them is definitely coquette. And the last one is to get a poster bundle from Etsy, Amazon of coquette images and just tape them on your wall. And if you don't wanna go and buy them, you could also just print them from a printer. You can print them at like an Office Depot, a Staples for eight cents a print. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that truly to make over your room a little bit. And the point of this video isn't to do a full makeover. It's to add to what you already have to fit the aesthetics you currently like. So. This wasn't intended to tell you to go out and buy like this furniture item, this mirror, this bed, you know, it's nothing like that. It's just simple ways that you can add things to your room that actually reflect the things you're interested in. It doesn't have to be a lot, but you see it and you know. So that is it for everything on the list. It's pretty short. I wasn't trying to make it long. If you guys want to check out the 50 decor items that I came up with for the Coquette aesthetic, I will, <laughs> I will put this here. I feel like I'm talking so much. I'm like, <laughs> losing my breath. Oh my gosh, breathe. It's fine. I hope that you guys liked this video. I hope it gave you some ideas when you're trying to add a little flair to your room and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.